So, while uh, Barry's reading, welcome everyone who's joining us this week. Hashish Megas, 420M fuck. Um, 420M what? F-U-K. I don't really say, I, I say, I say 420M funk, because it's better. It's like, I'm not saying fuck all the time. Uh, Indica Head Shop Afternoon. Everyone's here. There's a lot of Scouse Tom out. Now then, bro, you're good. Ah. Aiden, there's a, <coughs> there's like, I don't see the kettle being worked or anything, mate. Josh, Coatsy, Dara, if anyone's listening, a cup of tea would be amazing. What's new? What's poo? What's new? What's poo? Episode 207. What's new to the industry within the last year? Maybe year and a half. What poo? What's been around for ages? What's new? What's poo? You know what I mean? So, uh, we're going to have the intro really quickly, and then we'll get into the podcast. So, Coatsy, intro goes here. All good? Ready to go? Turn my voice up a little bit. All good for everyone watching, the whole family. Are you ready to go? I built a bee in the house, in the house that I built, in the booth that I built. I know people tune in every Sunday to listen, but even when business is good, we still manage to do the podcast. So, it's what's new, what's poo, episode 207. People watching live, get involved in the comment section. What has got your attention? What is new? What are you enjoying? What's poo? What have you been using for ages? And you just think, you know what? This is a big pile of shit. I need something new. And thank God I'm listening to this podcast because they're going to talk about all the new things that are out that can possibly replace all the poo things that I've got. You save enough for later. Yep. I'd put it behind your ear. Fuck Keeps it moist. Tangled in here. Keeps it moist. Got more in my pocket. So, shout out to the partners. Shout out to the partners. You start it. I'm going to start with Canna Nutrients. Big shout out to the organic range. We're doing a little bit of a push for Canna Can Bio called range. Organic, though, it it's called, called Canna Bio. Yeah. Bio so you got the Bio Ter- you got the Bio Vega. Bio Flores, Bio Boost, and Bio Rizotonic. Doesn't get shouted out, shouted about enough, probably because the bottles look a little bit boring and they don't really catch your eye. But the pro- the products, the liquids inside that bottle are really good. So I'm doing a shout out for Canna Bio this week and the last few weeks. Good range if you're an organic grower or you want to dabble. You know how easy Canna Mineral is. Just imagine how good Canna Bio, how easy Canna Bio is. Kind of bio will go lovely with the next one, which is the auto pot. Ooh. Ooh. We've had the, the they, new repping, haven't we? We have, and he's sad. He's he likes big. rallying, so obviously, but he thinks he's fella. sad. Um, not only that, with auto pot, obviously, the world's best gravity fed watering system. And they've got the new valve out, which they runs have. a five mil old. So five any mil. organic growers now, he's a flying. He's a. The. He's a uh, Halfway through stage two of the organic testing uh, with BioBiz, and they're having no problems at all, doing really well with it. So, organic growers, you can start using organics and Autopot. They still want you to be clean, they still want you to be on you top of it. You should do that anyway with any system, though, really, shouldn't you? Should be putting the clean. Yeah, like, it's like, let's get, to the, let's get to the end of the partners, and then we'll have a rant about being clean. So, we've got kind of Autopot, Autopot, Sunlight. sunlight. LED, LED, Generation 2, Q4, Q5, Q6. Yeah, good LEDs. We've been playing with the dimmable feature, Sunrise, Sunset feature. Great product. Still, in our opinion, to be topped. So, but there's some good competition out there. There is some good. Sunlight are going to have to stay on the ball. And Sunlight to stay. I have as well because they're always so. They probably started, so this is Generation 2. All right, let's not go on. They probably started Generation 3, six months ago. Is that good? Partners, 
partners. Listen, life isn't like rallying, you know, you don't have to get everywhere super quick. Sometimes you can stop and admire the view. You just stop me from carrying on with myself. I know. It's chill. Partners. Can it? Auto pot. Sunlight. Can filters. Can filters. Can air air filters. Air went. Qmax, Isomax, satellite controllers. Oh, uh, oh, everything. Fans and filters at your disposal. And last. And the world's leading. The world's leading. You know that. I didn't. Listen. Heaven. Top of their game. Ain't no better filter in the industry than a cam filter. Ain't no better. Don't, I don't. Okay. Move on then. Uh, last but not. By no means least, Revolution Diva, Microelectronics, their Diva 1000 watt double ended light, low square wave technology, and their double ended 630. 630, yeah, 630 double ended ceramic metal halide kit. Phenomenal products. How long have we had the sponsors on the podcast now, Forsty? Ooh. Nearly a year. Oh, so 200, we're on 207, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 45 episodes. Yeah, 45 episodes. Got seven episodes left We're with our beautiful sponsors. Decorate this wall a bit more, though, aren't we? Yeah, there's like, this was, all... let's call let's call this season one. Yeah. So we did a lot of podcasts in the past, and then we've had a full season with, with partners. Season one's nearly finished. Season two is about to start in April, and we're going to adorn our wall. We're going to have lovely wooden shelves, yeah. like the desk, and we're going to have lots of... All the products, like the satellite controller, might go on one part of the wall. The new sunlight might be hung somewhere. Logos, I don't know, I'm going to let Barry design it because he's the builder. He's going to tell me whether we can fit this table on that wall. No. Too heavy. Too heavy. Okay. A man of your capabilities, though, oh, I can, can do put anything. It up there, I've seen you build boxes. That. You haven't put a roof on it yet, but you're, fun- you're boss at building a 90% box. It's just the last bit of roof. <coughs> Needed finishing off. But rallying came before me, it as it always does. It does. It always <laughs> will. So is that all the partners? That's all the partners. Cool. Shout them uh, out again. Can, can light. I? Can light. Can light. Yeah. Can it? Auto pot. That's, that's sunlight. Right. I nearly said can. sunlight. Can light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's partnership made partners, in heaven. Yeah. And Revolution Microelectronics. Thank you very much for being partners. Yeah. Without them, the show Wouldn't would be on. shit. Really, it would be not as good quality, and um, yeah, we just we wouldn't be able to do the show to be honest. So, thank you very much, partners, yeah. and thank you very much for everyone listening. Because without you listening, if you had no listeners, it'd be a bit we had no partners. So, it's a it's a good three way relationship. It's a good yeah, threesome. it is. It works you, well. What else have we got going on here? Scow said, "Sunlight Q six W LED Rock." Not long got two. Yeah, man, read your mind. New LED maker based in Liverpool, invisible sun LED, quantum style boards are latest Samsung They're not LED. Based tech. in Liverpool, they're based in Birkenhead. Stephen Barry, have you heard of these? So, very important point. Birkenhead is not Liverpool. It's like just as far away in our minds as London is. Yeah. It's like completely different people. Yeah. Is, is Birkenhead and Liverpool. But I have heard that they, they, they're doing good. They're doing good. They keep, like, the name keeps coming up. Yeah. They're doing and, good um, things, I've heard. You shouldn't write them off because, uh, well, they're not a huge outfit. They're not like a sunlight no. where they've got massive facilities in, in Austria. They're, they're a small outfit at the moment, but you shouldn't write people off because the small sunlight once started in a small room. Is that actually them or is that just someone mentioning them? It could be them because it sounded like a good little... Yeah, they, beep, 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 beep. If it is you calling the shop, see us, bring one with you. Yeah, yeah Let's I think, have a little look at it. I think they came, they called over... Uh, a good few years ago, when just when he very first started. Get but back and see us again. Two years ago, people who were just making LEDs two years ago, we were just like, listen, I'm fed yeah. up with people saying that their LEDs are good. But it might be worth a visit if that is you. Yeah, man. Scout Samo said Jedi's. <laughs> <laughs> and it, Hashish Magus is reading True Living Organics. Let me know what you think of it, because I got an organics book. It's about that thick. It's from Mama Editions. And um, I haven't even started reading it yet because it terrifies me. It's like a book like that, it's huge. For people on podcast, when I say like that, fucking massive <laughs> is the way I'd describe it. Um, oh, 420M fuck said, I'm not even in the UK, lads. He's, so he's a, I imagine he's probably somewhere 
Who's that? Four, hey, 420M Funk. He's not in the UK. Uh, so now he was just shouting them out. Yeah, Hydro Daily said, I'm on Invisible Sun. How, what are you thinking about it? What's, what's it saying? Get in touch with him. Tell him to come and see us. We want to know more. He's in Portugal. I remember now. You remember you saying you're in Portugal. Lucky git. So, Barry, um, you were halfway through the partners and you said something about staying clean. What was it? Oh, yeah, keeping systems the clean. So, there's like a bit of a rant. and No, that... well, let's just... I've got them on watching you. So, let's just go through. When we get to it, we'll have that rant. Okay. All right. All right. Shall I start it off? You go. What's what do you new, want to go, What do you want to go with first? What's new or what's fucking absolute dog shit? How many new things have we got and how many poo things have we got? Probably better off at starting with new because there's not much poo stuff out there. But if you can think of any poo stuff, any dog shit products that have been out for ages and grow dust on the shelves. And yeah. Our we... saying in the shop is if it grows dust, it grows nettle. <laughs> so and nettles are only good shelf. for one thing. Yeah. So let's start with something new. Um... Highlights, I've got the new humidifier out, four litre, it's called the, ah, what's it yeah. called? I forgot the name of it. Humidi Pro. Humidi Pro, comes yeah. with the little remote and all that, but yeah. it is a fantastic product. I only went on the internet two days ago, yeah, before I just sold, sold loads them. of them. Um, but it is a boss little product, a yeah. boss for, I know you've got your, your bigger ones like your Airsonics and stuff like that, which are good. Um, Airsonics? Good for, so you've got like, Airsonic, what's it called? Airsonic Pro. Airsonic Pro, that's boss for the four way manifold, big fantastic. Tent. But this little four litre humidifier, it's a proper little gadget, it's isn't a proper it? little gadget. It looks nice, it performs well, it'll go boss in little 1.2 by 1.2, 1.5 by 1.5s. It is a boss little piece What's of it? Clip. If you had a little veg room where you were just starting yeah. things off, fucking absolutely perfect. Why is it a top gadget? Why is it when we're saying watch new, we're also saying these new things are good things. So it's not just new and shit. Everything that we're talking about is new and is probably quite good. Uh, but why is it a boss little gadget? What does it come with? That come got with you a excited? little remote and all yeah, that. So you can so, show so it from have it. the office. You wouldn't have it at the back of the room because it makes no sense because you've got to fill it up. Yeah. But it does come with a boss little gadget, yeah, yeah. a little remote. And it's got built-in timers and stuff on it. So you can have it on for four hours, I think six hours, eight hours and ten hours or something like Turned that. Turned itself off. But, yeah, it'll turn itself off. Comes with a boss little LED display screen. Yeah. Like people might get panicked over that thinking, oh, it's going to light me doing up, but, but it doesn't. As soon as you stop operating it within a couple of seconds, it goes bump and just dims literally. You can f- barely see it until yeah. you touch the remote. Boss little product, and we needed one of them in the industry, to be honest with you. Doesn't it like the control the temperature? Goes, yeah. Oh, doesn't it control the temperature as well? Like, I'm no, sure you can set the temperature. You. Nah, nah, it tells you the temperature oh, of does the it? room and the humidity oh, okay. of the room. As does well, it, yeah? Right in there, yeah. To be fair, How I still want the air comfort in there to yeah. tell me because that's probably only taking a reading from around itself. Yeah, yeah, on the floor as well. Something like that, yeah, which yeah. is probably colder. The humidity is dropping a little bit as well because it's coming out. So I wouldn't take that as gospel. I'd still have that in there, but ah. it's nice to just look at because now you can see two readings from where your air comfort is. The yeah, way that's that where is. the floor is. So, I thought it was controlling the temperature we, of the water it was giving like off. Like I said, we've got the Air Sonic Pro and that's boss for rooms and stuff like that and it's, it's a boss gadget but they have like smashed it because we did need something in the industry for that the was little just a tent. bit smaller. Yeah, that was just a bit smaller because an Air Sonic Pro, you put that into a 1.2 by 1.2 and it's taken off a full fucking plant pot space. Yeah. You know what I mean? So with this little gadget, it's nice, nice and nice. It's good, like it. On the uh, oh, the other thing that's got before I move on to one of the questions is a uh, air sterilization or air it cleans the yeah, air, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I haven't yeah. I haven't properly looked at one yet because it, it came in the shop the other day. But I imagine I'd like it's it to a see a UV light. I'd love to see it, that it's got a UV light in the water. So as the water's passing through it, the, if you turn the U, the air sterilization on, this UV light will come on and kills all the bacteria and any viruses yeah. in there. I haven't really That'd looked at it. Also, done it, filled it up, turned it on, and messed with the remote. And it works. Honest, it? And it How works, much is boss. it? Fucking well, only retails for about thirty to thirty-five pounds, something like that. It that's retails that's for. like half the price of the Air Sonic yeah. Pro, isn't it? So yeah. good for small it's half the rooms. price. Half the size, yeah, but it's fucking boss for what it is. Yeah, no good gadget. You, know I mean? you wouldn't lose no plant space in a one meter, two me- one meter, one point two, one point five. Mm. You get it in there amongst everything else, and it work well. Do you know what would be good is if it, if it had two little tiny hooks that you could just sort of thread a, a rope ratchet through and just hang it a little bit so that it goes above the plants and the humidity would drop. Right, you're taking it to the next level now. I'm not. I'm all about that next level. 
Who supplies it? Highlight Horticulture. Sounds. So any shops listening, uh, get involved. Yeah. Go and wipe them out. I love it because when Instagram was like really pumping and you could put a post out and it'd have hundreds and hundreds of likes and comments. Uh, when I used to put a post out, Gareth would ring me like a day later and be like, have you posted something about, I can't remember what the product was at the time, but have you posted this? I said, yeah, yeah, it was a, what was it now? So like the, the bubble gen. I was doing experiments. I'd done a little video and he went, yeah, fucking, I had like 120 in stock of them and they've all gone. So it's uh, back in the days when Instagram actually used to be able to, people used to see it. shit, yeah. Um, that was quite <coughs> a nice little product. Is, so the question is, is the air comfort on watching you? The air comfort updated version. Updated is on version. Because well, yeah. I've got a question here. Hey, has she said that, are the air comfort worth buying? A million percent. 100%. <laughs> 1 million percent. Yes. Categorical, yes. Yeah. A thermometer hygrometer will cost you a tenner. Some shops might do it for like £8, but most shops, the £10. The Air Comfort is going to cost you £30. Download the free app to your phone. Change the name to Baby's Room or Mother-in-Law's Room or whatever. Kitchen. And it'll tell you. It'll give you like, you can change the intervals. It can either record every second or every right. five minutes or every 10 minutes. Give you intervals so you know how long it's been hot, how long it's been cold. Gives you three, basically gives you up to three months, three data points. And um, what? I forgot to turn my phone off. Amateur. I know. I, I, I hope uh, yours goes you off, you know. Have you on mute, mate? Is that on mute or have you just muted it then with the call? Yeah, I've just muted it then with the call. Fuck yeah. Who is it? Don't worry about it. Who is it? It's not being nosy. Let me see. No, I've deleted it now anyway. Ugh. So, the air comfort. Get back to what's important, Barry. What do you mean? It's that. It's the get comfort. off your phone. I was muting it, mate. Fucking hell. Just hey. that well. Fucking... I was waiting for you. Must have God. Proper operation prevents this poor performance. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. So, air comfort. Air comfort update. What's being updated? It now says highlight article on the box. <laughs> and it comes, comes with, with a carabiner. It, it comes with, oh, I haven't got my keys with me. It comes with a carabiner, which is on my car keys now. Oh, it is a good So problem. if any customers are wondering where their carabiner the went, have you done anything with the dates or does it store longer data? Or? It gives you um, air quality now. It gives you like a happy face or an unhappy face on the air quality. Not on, not on super yeah. outrageous or different yeah. from the original but one. still. I think it might have a slightly it's better battery brand, life. Though. It's now yeah. yellow and black. It comes with the carabiner, which does help. It might be more accurate. Just a, yeah, it's a boss product, yeah, a regardless. Product. £30. Everybody should be swerving the thermometer, hygrometers, and buying an air comfort. If you're in a shop, I think uh, Highlight Horticulture, the main distributor, I think there's a few other distributors now, uh, but Highlight Horticulture, the ones that bring them into the UK, just absolutely great product. Most Everyone of your shops one. will have these, like. Uh, Gonna know what's poo? No, not yet. yes. In a second, Scouse Tom said, "I need. I know we need to watch what we talk about, but auto flowers are changing the industry. Dude, uh, they're not big fans of like we love plants where you can dictate the light to them. So light patterns, you keep them in veg. Light patterns, you change like them a to flower. I can control. Yeah, that, that controls me. Yeah, because we like Barry, for instance, has started in the, propagating in the shop plants that. What? What? What, just because they've gone shit? Uh, you're pulling a face. Barry, I wasn't I'm even going to talk about... I, I, was after, I wasn't even going to talk about that. I'll let you tell everyone what's happened. Call me Dr. Death. Barry's, Barry's just done some plants, but we've started them early. We started them end of January, beginning of February. They will be going outside. But if they were auto-flowering plants... Who knows when they'd be going outside? Yeah, Who knows just, when they're going to do anything? So, not, the, not like the biggest fan. Personally. Not the biggest fan. But oh, they're good for some people. Yeah. As she said, cheers, your new website looks amazing. Thank you, Hashish. We are on it every single day. Yep. You'll be pleased to see uh, the new outdoor horticulture, outdoor yes, garden we've section. we've now got indoor. It's still... Indoor the, focused. The, the, the whole website as a whole isn't going to be... It's ready now to go on and use, but I'd give it another three or four months. Yeah. And it's going to have the same look. It's going to have the it's concept, be, the, yeah. the, the stuff that's involved in this website is unbelievable. Yeah. As soon as you go on the homepage, it's going to give you two options straight away, which will be indoor gardening. 
because that's what we specialise in, or outdoor gardening, which is everything in yep. outdoor gardening, everything from polytunnels to tools to sheds to house your tools in to Seeds, rotivators, fertilizers. everything you can think of we're going to do. Proper gardeners, mate. Proper gardeners. Proper gardeners. Mate. Indoor, outdoor, upstairs. Whatever downstairs. you want and need. Yeah. B- Do you want to know? b and the new, It's the new thing. Not being q <laughs> Yeah. Um, what else? Anything else before you're in? Hydro again? Daily said, I'm using the sensor push. Awesome gadget. Sounds like the same oh, kind of thing. He's using something called a sensor push. I think that might be, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's <sighs> P&L Grow Systems. I think that's their product. And if it is. Oh, is that the one that goes to your phone? And yeah, I think that'll be there. Uh, Scouse Tom said thanks for talking about it though. No problem, that's what we're here for. Get your questions in. What's new? What's poo? What's poo bag? I'm not doing them in order. Do you want me to tell you what's absolute dog shit? I know what you're going to say. Because if you Is it just two words or one word? Two words. Yeah. If, you come in the, if, you, um, yeah. if you come in the shop and ask for this, and ask come in with a hard this. hat. If you ask, yeah, if you ask me, I'll still like sell it to you because like I'm nice. But if you ask Barry, come in with a hard hat because you're more than likely going to get it thrown at you. Magnetic <laughs> ballasts. <laughs> what the fuck? They should have well fizzled out by now. Magnetic ballasts. I've, li- I'm ke- the I've got one. digital light kits. For me, that museum. Are out, yeah. For the amount of digital light kits that are out there now. Now, two or three years ago, digital light kits. I think the cheapest one was probably about 120, 130. Exactly, Maxi yeah. Bright ones or Maxi Bright like Pro that. Select, 130. Now, you can get them. £70 full kit. Unbelievable. Boss piece of kit. Two-year warranty on them. But there's a few different varieties of them. They're fucking unbelievable. So why on earth would you buy a fucking magnetic that's from the size of a fucking four-inch fucking brick? Are they playing pool? Excuse me! Anybody out there doing any work? One one day a week for an hour. And you choose now to play pool? Fucking hell. And um, we haven't even got a cup of tea on the desk. Proper amateurs, mate. So I just think magnetic ballasts should just be banished from everyone. This is like, what have you seen? What is it? Room 101? Yeah. yeah. Bam. Boom. They I'm going to get... make one. I'm going to make one of them and it's going to go we'll there. sit on there and, and it's going to go on there and I'm going to pull gonna... the lever and it's going to go in there. I'm going to watch, lad. I'm going to make one. Go on. We've I got am. all I'm summer to get watch, this done. Watch, lad. I'm going to make one. We're going to do Room 101. Season, season two. two. I'm going to make a Room 101. MPK bin. Yeah. If it goes into the it's MPK gonna bin. It's going to have the poo emoji <laughs> on the front of it and we're just going to hit it and we're going to call out to whoever fucking distributes it. Yeah. One, magnetic baluster, heavy. As fuck, you can only carry. Lad, here's one for you. Have you ever had a lucky shock off one of them? No, but I was there when you did. Listen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look. It was, it, because, I was not exaggerating. It's a metal cut. Listen, it was fucking bad. The first <laughs> time in my life I've ever had a lucky shock off one of them. And, it, <laughs> and you know what? Because it's a metal coil inside. Yeah. No, even when you unplug it, it's still holding the charge. Yeah. And what I've done is I've unplugged it and grabbed the plug. And the fucking prongs have gone in my finger like that. And your hand squeezed. And my hand just went tight on it, mate. And I went, <laughs> and I was stood at it. Someone brought the ballast back and said, it's faulty. And I just looked at it anyway and thought, piece of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Put it on the floor, got a light kit. I plugged it in and went, nah, mate, it needed the little, on the front the of the metal. Fuse. Yeah, it needed the little white fuse. So I put the white fuse and went, nah, mate, look at sound. Turns it off, unplugs the light, wraps the light up. And it was unplugged for about 30, 40 seconds. And then I've picked it up and in front of the customer, I went, <laughs> and the customer just like looked at me and I went, ah, fucking pile of shit. Just put it in a bin bag and said, get the fuck out with it. Oh, and bam, my I head just, out, mate. I remember the day and he just sat there, I was like nursing his hand. He was like, it's still burning, you know? Honestly, but like God, weeks after it's dangerous, lad. Oh, uh, that was, that was. You can't awesome. dim them down. The fucking, the, 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 the same weight as five digital ballasts. Mm. All the fucking shit to get red hot. So if you've got them in your grow room, fucking hell, mate, you'd have to upgrade all your fans and filters just to fucking cope with the heat off them. Never mind the heat off your lights. I know. The fucking absolute dog shit. So just don't come in the shop and ask for them. Yeah, don't come in the shop and sell me fucking new ones. No, not a chance. You'll get legged out the shop. You will. Um, 
let's have a let's try and stay on top <laughs> of these comments. Every in America, no of you went to America now. Look, yeah, are you listening? Look I am. Me. I am. Look at me. No of you went to America now <laughs> and asked for a magnetic ballast. I reckon you'd get fucking. I reckon they put sticks in you and everything. Like, yeah, like I reckon they'd say to you, because yeah. they don't run magnet. They just look and go, you guys have still got magnetic ballast. Yeah. Like uh, weirdos. somebody coming up to you going, hey, buddy, there's no, you know, that thing on the front of your car, like you turn to get it going yeah, again. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, 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 do you sell them? And like the way we look at you, be like, no. We're in England. If you use a magnetic ballast, it's like having square wheels. Or Wales, Scotland it's and not Ireland. That. We're not nationalists. Like what's a magnetic kit cost you roughly? 55 quid. I still like to sell them for 55, yeah. 55, Even though 50 quid. For the extra 20 pound. You can buy a fucking lightweight, a two, two running, fifty, four hundred, six hundred, fucking, and it, it's a better output on yeah, your bulbs. So steady output, it's a steady output. Mm. Fucking bulbs will last long with digital ballasts. Put that in room one or one. Yeah, magnetic ballasts are gone for the bin. Yeah, You'd probably you know for the price them probably get that back weighing them in. You probably would, yeah. You would, yeah. Um, Scout said need to get a Tassimo. I know, like I'm literally, I'm not messing. If anybody's listening, I really could do with a cup of tea. Please, please, I'm asking nicely. Your staff ain't you. I oh, know. Aiden. Coatsy. Aiden. Coatsy. This is this is this is basically our lives. Josh. Aiden. <laughs> Somebody has stood up. But where's all the staff gone? Where's Aiden? Where's is he? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much. Isn't, isn't he a little bitch? Coming mm-hmm. out. I was here at ten past three, mate. Oh, that's a dig at me, Josh, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, back to it. What's new? There's not many poo that we've got on there, but I'm, I want people to tell me what's poo. Um new products. Let's go for just reset. Go down them, otherwise you'll miss some out. Neutralizer, neutralize, neutralizer. Yeah, neutralize because there's another product on the market called the neutralizer. The chlorinator. No, no, there's there's the plug in, isn't there? The neutralizer. It's called. Yeah, no, I'm on about eco thrive neutralizer. Yeah. The, the chlorinator that you put in your water. Yeah. So the way you used to. Fill your buckets up 24 hours before and let them fucking evaporate the chlorine and yeah and get to whatever. It's... But it doesn't. It never ever got rid of the chloramines. Yeah, which no, is this does it does get rid of the chlorine. Do a bit more science than me. So it's it citric acid, vitamin C, and the formulation basically will bind up the chlorine and the chloramine. You add it in tiny amounts. You don't need a big bottle of it. Uh, it's really cheap by Eco Thrive. If you use beneficial bacteria, you use trichoderma, fungi, anything like that, any living organisms, use neutralize, and your living organisms are gonna just have the full playing field to to get on. If you don't use it, then they'll still work, but they'll just have to a lot of them will get killed off in the early stages by the chlorine and the chloramine. Even for people that don't use beneficial bacteria, then if you're in an area where they highly dose chlorine and chloramine, you can actually get chlorine burn. So plants need trace amounts of chlorine to actually survive. But if you put too much in it, it's really hard to notice because chlorine overdose looks like nutrient burn. The tips start to go brown. So you'll be thinking, ah, I swear to God, I'm not putting that much feed in. Mm. But you just, your, your water's full of chlorine and you just keep on putting it in. And it's like the, the analogy I use is the chlorine is like a big double-decker bus on the motorway, you know, the my, my macro elements can't get through. So you tend to get other deficiencies because you're getting a chlorine overdose. So very, very good product. The, I can't believe it's taken this long because it's not some revolutionary new product. I can't believe it's taken somebody this long to actually come you can on with use it. it with all your normal additives, nutrients, yeah. everything like doesn't that. doesn't affect DC, doesn't affect pH. Just put it in first. Uh, yeah, you could. Yeah, you would do. Silica. Yeah, put it in first because it doesn't have any effect on anything. And also, I don't, this is a little bit unfounded, but vitamin C oh. citric acid or uh, ascorbic acid, sorry, is um, is good for plants. It's a antioxidant. So humans have it, vitamin C to keep ourselves healthy. It's also good for plants, antioxidant, antioxidant. So 
top product sold by Eco Thrive. Uh, we stock it in the shop. It's on the website, but it'll also be in most good grow shops now. Very, very good product. What do you want now then? Do you want another what's new or what's poo? Give us another what's new. Another what's new. Even now, dry as Gandhi's flip flop. Let's do the Maxi Bright contactor. Ooh, the contactor. The new one. Yeah, very, very nice piece of kit. I don't know whether I know the eight way. They do an eight way. I don't know whether it's called the Eco or the Pro or. I don't know what they've called I it, think but they do an eight way standard and they do an eight way with a heater plug. Yeah. They do a four way standard and I think don't know whether it's out yet, but the making Six. now no four way with the heater plug on. Right. And have they got a six way? I think that's what's gonna be coming out. They're, they're deliberating because yeah. the problem with six ways and eight ways is it must just be something to do with manufacturing. They're because really coast close in price. You may like, as well have an eight way. Yeah, we used to get like there was six way Davins. I that think used it's to always get. better anyway. If you were running six lights and you're putting your six way under full strength. Yeah. But if you add an eight way, you've got an extra two plugs, maybe to plug humidifier in. Yeah. So when the lights are on, the humidifier's on with the lights. Yeah. You could have, if you had a couple, two oscillating fans in the room and when the night time comes, they one of them off can go the off. Lights, or, yeah. yeah. Then you can yeah. leave one on. So yeah. it's just a gentle. Also, or you can you... put your air into it, so you're not pumping pure cold air in of a night. If it's yeah. just if you're having a problem with cold of a night, that's yeah, a good one. So you should always all like, like but it's good to not overload them. Interrupting me, you always <laughs> over. <overspect. laughs> Watch what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to oh, look. look at this. You should always overspec your fans so you can dim them down because you can never turn them up, and you should always overspec your times. Yeah. Well, well. Big A dogs coming in with the cup of tea's thing. It's right, A dog. Yeah, little wink to your nose. That's the first time I've seen you without your hat in like you know ever. Oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to put that in right the contract. A. Yeah. So what's this? So everyone watching live, you know, if you don't, if you ever have a conversation with Barry, you don't look at him in the eyes. He can't speak. <laughs> what's this? <laughs> Oh, fuck it. Look at this. <laughs> we asked for a fucking cup of tea that much that poor Brian in the shop around the corner seen us and brought us. And look, it's in the same cups. That's You're weird. That's in a Dutch pub. That's weird. It's right, RB. He's been it's dying right. to get on, hasn't he? Spat in it. Yeah, of course. It's right. Twice. No. Oh. No, I have two spits. He has one. Isn't there no biscuits now? I've got two cups of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Is right, B. Glad somebody oh, was he's listening. He's after something, him, la. He is. Um, let's go back to it. Max, let's not miss the so, out. So, yeah, one, let's okay. not look Barry in let's the eye and let's see how, how much he struggles. Yes. I'm just going to look oh, at the people oh, watching. I've got Crack on, Barry. See, lad, and you only need one, you know. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi Bright. Contact it. So they've got the eight way out. Yeah, with six ways coming soon. So eight way standard, eight way heater plug, four way standard. And I think when I asked for it through the week anyway, it wasn't out. She went, Oh, we're, we're getting that in. So hopefully they'll have the eight way with the with the heater plug on it, the four way with the heater plug on it as well. But boss contact it. They are a boss piece of grip. Like, um, I wouldn't see that there's much point bringing a four way out. Maybe bring a 12 way out, mm. but a six way. It's probably not worth it. Like you say, you should always overspec your fans because you can dim them down. And you never know if your room's going to change. If you buy a fan that runs four lights, let's say, well, who's to say that you're not going to get a bigger environment yeah. one day where you can put six lights in? At least then you've still got the fan. Yeah, That you is our I mean? number one, what, not our number one rule, but it's one of our big rules in the shop is if you overspec, then you might have to pay the extra £20 or £100 with fans and filters. But it's future-proofed. Yeah. Like if you overspec your fan and filter, then you can always dim it down to cope with the amount of lights you've got now. When you come to do winter and you want to put more lights in, you don't have to go out and buy a brand okay. new fan and filter. So to pay the extra 20 or 30 pounds between box prices, yeah, it's well worth it. Yeah, you know always I mean? try and overspec your And shit. even the same with your timers, that's what you should do with your timers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've been selling for about two, maybe three months now. I haven't had any returns. Good quality and We've maxi bright. Them, yeah, them. maxi grow. I should say. Do uh, do do good good yeah. products. You don't ever get a problem with maxi grow products. Yeah. 
So, big shout out, Maxi. What's something poo? I've got one on there that really winds me up. Try and guess what my one is that proper annoys me. Is it a liquid? No. I know what it is then. Cage fan. No. Fabric one? Yeah. The big fucking wind. I know what this winds you <laughs> up, but it doesn't wind me up because I know the theory behind it. Okay, so let me tell you why it winds me Go up. On. Fa- fa- just any pots. You know what else winds me up? No. Be Pacific. Pla- You've put it, yeah. Be Pacific. Wide fabric pots. No. Wide fabric pots. Are pointless. Why are they? Because your taproot goes down, hits the bottom, the oh, other roots go towards on it. The other what end. a waste of cocoa. No. All that look, is. Look. You only get wide. You're not going to stay stability, are you? I am. I am. Standard. You only get wide after 50 litres, really. They're still a nice deep, but they seem to go a lot wider. Right. That's because the root now lies that way. Yeah? And it's stability in the plant. It, it's keeping... If you had a pot that was that wide and that fucking tall so your tap root can travel for fucking yonder, then... Your plants, the whole weight of that plant, <laughs> the whole weight of that plant is is balanced on that part. Yeah. yeah. So why they go? Why? I don't like them. Still, I'll be. I'll I agree know, with yeah. you, but I understand the theory behind it. The wider they are, the more stability the plants got. Do you know what I mean? I suppose I can give you that it's, one. Yeah. It's got more of a footprint. Yeah. Just gravity. See? So plant. So plants with specific to the roots. Uh, uh, what's the proper word? Uh, I don't fucking know the word. Gra- gravity tropic or something like that. Where the root, if, you, if you're if you in space, the roots grow all mental because there's no gravity. Um, but roots will grow to... in space? NASA. Oh. One of the first people to use hydroponics was NASA in space, growing lettuce and radishes. Oh, so it's why we got money it. On something so it's, it's why we got into the industry because we were helping supply NASA. But so the tap roots and all the roots will go towards gravity. Yeah. So it just takes... What happens when they go towards gravity, then they get to the bottom? What do they do? At the bottom. In a, in a fabric pot, it just you've just got to veg in for a ages, pot. which you do anyway in a large pot. Exactly. But, you just answered your own I know, question. but you'd have, have to veg for even longer. Good side, nah, you'd have to veg them for even longer. You just, well, how many roots are just going to grow outwards? They don't want to grow outwards. Every time they grow out, as soon as there's a chance to go down, they're going to go down. So but when I say a down, long veg, they're going to go out. 50 litre cloth pot, six week veg. Great, standard. I think you'd have to veg for even longer to get the roots to make full use of, of, of all the cocoa. Do you know what we need to do? We need to test. A test. Oh. We need to look at root masses. I'm not that into them. The ones I like, the 50 litre cough pot, I highlight a picture, the pro pot, the square the garden, ones. Garden, garden, high, pro. high pro, the square. Yeah. They are, in my opinion, the best. Yeah. Because... And I'm not just saying Cost. that's sucking fat out of highlights ass. No, it's not highlight. They just distribute they it. Just, garden yeah, pro. It's garden high pro. Cost. The square. have got nice handles. solid handles on them. And Made like, out of... They're like a nice width and yeah. depth. Perfect. And the square. They're just, yeah, they're just a nice size. They fit into it. Here's one 60 for you. 60 to 60 perfectly where you can get a good 10 litres into the bottom of it on top of the pot. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like... Here's one for you. A few people have been coming in the shop recently saying, I don't really like the square pots because, well, the roots, I don't know, the root, they can, they're thinking that the roots will hit the square and sort of have a bit of a bad time of it. Because what they're doing is they're imagining, so in, in plastic pots, you always used to like circle pots so that the roots had sort of, they were directed around the plant. In square pots, they could, it could affect in them a, a little bit. Pot. Pot they don't have that. It goes out and burns and flies yeah, back. Yeah. 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 It ruins uh, a bit, doesn't it? Exactly. Air prunes, light prunes. Um, so with, with this problem, square or circle or rectangular, whatever you want, you it don't have that matter. problem with 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 cloth a, a, pots. A, a cloth pot is not designed to be like a plastic pot. Yeah, it's works and it sort different. of yeah, it works completely different. It's more of an air prune and light yeah. prune, and don't get me wrong, it's discreet, it's lightweight. Should we put plastic pots in what poo? No. Mad, aren't you? Why not? Well, plastic pots are small, small plastic. Yeah, small plastic pots have still got a place because nobody to wants be honest, to pot yeah, up from yeah, a small cloth honest. pot. That's the only place plastic pots have got for me is that where, as you're potting up, nobody wants a one litre cloth pot or a three litre cloth pot because, because they're a nightmare to get out. Yeah, yeah. You so, have to cut it. Yeah, and then 
cloth pots can be reused. So start off small in your plastic, pot up into your cloth. But I think 15, 20, 30, and 50 litre plastic pots are just pointless now. So all your B&Q can go fuck yourself. Have you ever seen a fabric pot and <coughs> fabric cloth? Plastic, and maybe we all go on about plastic, don't we, in this season? Yeah, reduce mm-hmm. your plastics. So there's reduce one good way of doing so it. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we should only have pots that are underneath 10 metres so we can put up with. Yeah. And everything should go into fabric pots. Yeah, I like it. Hasn't someone got a biodegradable pot out? Have I seen that or am I just have I just thought of that? Coach, you need to edit that out if Barry's just thought of that. A biodegradable. I mean, I'm painted straight no, away. I'm sure. That's a good idea. I'm I'd sure. be surprised if somebody hasn't done that. A cloth pot that when you just, it's compostable or something yeah. after. The problem with that is that it probably starts to compost when it's in your room. If it's under high intense heat and humidity, it probably starts to compost. But if you could get one that does that after a year, then it's good for the environment, isn't it? Yeah. Greta Thunberg will be overjoyed with this podcast. Yeah. Um... What do you want to watch good or what's new or what's new again? Uh, or what's new, eh? Yeah. Um, gold label, 70-30, 70% cocoa, 30% pale light. Yes, new product. New product. Bit like the Eco Thrive one, no, bud. Exactly. Eco Thrive's got charging it as well. Eco Thrive's got charging it as well. Eco Thrive's got charging it, yeah. Gold label doesn't have charge in it. Um, we had half I, a I'm pallet. I'm saying this without the knowledge of it, but... I could imagine the gold label one to be a better grade cocoa. Yeah, I'd, would I would agree. I'd agree with that, yeah. Purely because... They're a bigger outfit. They've got... They're known for... Means, yeah, they're known for... Producing the yeah, best quality yeah, yeah. cocoa out there. Canon would probably disagree. Canon have got the professional plus. That's phenomenal. But gold label at RHP certified in K... PL or KHA, I can't remember the, the acronym, but they've got all Maybe kinds like of certification. Code, certification yeah, codes. so they're just very good quality. So they're I've had a little look at it, and it looks, it does look nice. I've opened one of the bags, and to be honest with you, that's where I'm going to pop most of them strawberries and tomatoes into. Have a little play with it all the summer. Have a play with Maybe that see if it's, it's got to go against Eco Thrive. It's going to be, it is Eco Thrive 7030. It's going to be a hard cocoa to beat because it's it's really good. Eco, Eco Thrive 7030 actually. So the best quality cocoa on the market, in my opinion, is DNA Mills yeah. cocoa with cork. Yeah. Because of its ability to not retain water. So people who it's brilliant for people and who And they've got something fancy dancy in there because they if you have. slide, it's like home. It's tell a them, palette of home. Tell them, tell the shops about this if they haven't already got onto yeah, it. If you haven't already got onto it, next time you get a delivery of Dutch Pro. Not Dutch Pro. <laughs> DNA, no, what am I saying? Omics, <laughs> what's it called, that process that it does, Omics? What's it, in it? So it, it, I don't think it happens that much the in Omics. The oh, Biobiz Omics. Do you think it's still a bit yeah. warm? But not when as much up, as, he, as the DNA Mills. That DNA Mills, when you get halfway down the pallet, the bags are red steaming. hot. Like steam and yeah. hot, red hot. And what is it? It's all the, the bacteria. The bacteria. Yeah, that's the in beneficial it. trichoderma in there. So how have they got that to... Sustaining cocoa, if that's the right word. Probably one of their proprietary formulations, but I called up Mills about it and went, I it know you secret. And he went, what is it? It's the cork. The cork's our secret. So I went, fuck off. Your cork's sustainable. Brilliant. Well done. Acts like perlite, but there's something else in there. There's trichoderma, there's bacteria, there's some goodies in there that I make. When people use Mills DNA cocoa with cork, that it's it's expensive. Most shops should be selling for about nineteen pound a bag. That's the RRP, um, but it it is worth it. Yeah. Um, phenomenal cocoa. Having said that, when people don't really want to spend that type of money on a bag of cocoa, they're trying the Eco Thrive seventy thirty, or the kind of professional, and like, or the kind of professional, and they're like, you know what? That's not bad. I like that. Yeah. So we we've got a really nice selection in our shop now. We have a real yeah. room out of space to be honest yeah. with you. Um, done that, done that, done that, done that. Done what that. else is new? Keep them coming. The second from top there, actually. You're testing it right now. I am, actually, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, no, let's do that one. The LED icon. Ah, yeah. So, we had Icon International in the shop. Uh, we had Chris and Paul. Top, top reps. Love the bones of Oscar. Yeah. 
What about Chris? <laughs> you fucking hell ass. <laughs> he's all right, Chris. Like, yeah. yeah. No one Paul longer though. Yeah. He's so. um So Paul and Chris came to see us. And I'll I tell you, like we don't give Icon enough of a, a shout because they're just quiet, quiet wholesaler. Go about the business, but I like Icon a lot. The, the girls on the phone are boss. Tracy's phenomenal. Um Paul and Chris, brilliant reps. The whole team's good and they do good products. And the reason that I particularly I got on really well with Paul is because he no bullshit. If if you think something that's a bit shit, sorry, I can't. If you think something's a bit shit, you'd be like, I'm not coming to your shop with that. Right. You know, I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna show oh, you shit. that. And he come with the uh, with this new LED and he's a fan of it. And just by the look of it, I think What's it's got it a called? place in the market. What have I written down there? The name's grown off the top of my head. You've got that there, look. And oh, then you've got that. Yeah. The, What's the, it called? Bollocks. Yeah, Granddad or anybody that's in the shop, please tell me what Icon's new LED is called. Oh, I the name of it. And I don't want to give it a fake name because it could end up sticking. Yeah, it's, it's nice, though. It is good. It looks. It's, it's expensive. It's a dear piece of kit. Dear do. Dear do. Dear do. But, oh. Tunable spectrum, tune a full tunable, full dimmable, fucking expandable. Fucking... So you can, you'd for, it's like it's like a little bit looks like a drone. Yeah, it looks like a drone. You can pull the LEDs out, uh, so you can cover different areas. You can pull two out to make it rectangular spread. Pull four out to make it a square spread. Dim it, tune the spectrum more blues, more reds, whatever. Um, built. Oh. Wish my memory was better. You know, where was oh, it? Is it UK it or Germany? Fun. It's somewhere good. Like that's all I can remember. It's not like a Chinese made. It's a, it's like German made or something. With really, I think I'm pretty sure it's German made. Um, and what I really like about it is how I want growing to go, which is social. I want people to be more you social with the shit the for it yeah. and share your data and so, look at everyone else's data so of what light patterns they use on certain plants and you can implement it and download it into your one, can't you? Yeah. Can you download yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you download yourself? your spectrum yeah, and, download. And, and apply it to your plant, or yeah. to your light, so you can look at what... So if you and someone in... Stop interrupting Amer- me. Oh, <laughs> behave yourself, my <laughs> team. If you and someone in America both had the app and you didn't know each other and you, you done strawberries of a certain variety on that and he done the same and he got a well better and it looked great but even though yours was fantastic his was just amazing you if he shares his online his data you can then download his light pattern and implement it into your tent and, yeah. your and if you still get a shit result it just means you're shit yeah, it means you're shite, <laughs> or wasn't spot on yeah. but that's good social sharing of spectrums is going to be like leds will be 2020 year of led keep saying it but i think a big thing for leds especially as things get more social um sharing of spectrums sharing of environments pl growth systems want people sharing to be able the coronavirus to now lad oh yeah you know what i mean? I'm gonna talk about that yeah. at the end um but sharing is caring unless it's a virus but i think that's the way leds and this spectrum is gonna go because you can tune it good product while we're on icon stuff may as well talk about the troll master You've written down here. <laughs> don't I don't know why. Soul Master. Middle new. Poo to not poo not cheap to. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck am I meant to make of that? Soul Master. Middle new. Poo to not poo. Cheap to not to. Uh, explain that, Steve. So I know what the face means, middle new, because it's not a brand new product. It's probably been out for a year and a half, two years, just in there for the new products. Uh, they came round in the summer and showed us in a lovely metal case. Blew me mind. It's heavy. Phenomenal piece of kit. The reason... Oh, always this the briefcase yeah, and yeah, yeah, control. Yeah. Yes, I'm with you, I'm with you. So they came round again, explained it again. I'm like, okay, I think I get it. But for this type, so what it does is it controls everything. I think it's a bit. High-grade lighting, CO2, humidity, temperature and environment, air movement, it'll do Humidifies. everything for you. I just think it's... You can be in the Bahamas and control on, your on, room. Yeah, off your, off your... You can change everything. Everything. I just think it's a bit beyond its time. It's good what they've got. Phenomenal. But it's just a bit early for it. It's not... I say it's expensive. When you, If you wanted to get everything at once, Oh, lad, if you can expensive. sit in fucking the Maldives... 
and have your shield room at home and can control everything from it. Turn your humidifier on, off, dim it down, dim it up. Get a lens when it Knock lights off, now. fucking turn lights on, fucking adjust everything, fucking... You're even laughing. if the systems plug into it to fucking feed and all that. Probably. Probably, probably, probably does everything. Does everything yeah. If you can do that, then it is a fucking phenomenal it's piece of kit and it's worth a lot of money. But I just think it's a bit advanced. Yeah. It's so a bit like, wow. We are on a we're going to use one. We're going to get one. We're going to put it in our book box outside, get some lights on, get a little bit of CO2 in there and just start playing with it. So once we've got our heads around it, we'll be able to explain it. Problem we'll is, if you don't the understand show. the product fully, you it's just don't hard. tend to even mention it's it. It's scary to think that you can sit in the Bahamas and control the full room yeah. from that. Do you think we could ever do, control this podcast with it from the Bahamas and just have like... Why would you say that? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like, sit in the Bahamas. Be, yeah. Sit in the Bahamas and do the podcast. Yeah, they'll do that. Well, oh, fucking hell, that's what I was just saying, mate. take coats with us, won't we? Coats. Coats and cake. Um, cake. Okay, let's cake. move on. Cake. I can hear you. I know. It's not fucking subliminal. Once you say it once, I'm <laughs> No, but you very slowly start to see a smile widen the more you mention cake. Why do you say that? Because <laughs> you take the piss out of me. Fucking hell. You think like... Okay. I love the cake. <laughs> Bacon <laughs> is good for me. <laughs> What's poo? <laughs> um, your beard. I reckon we should do a fundraiser to get it whipped off. I would do. Put it out there then. Go on. Auto Take pot. Balls. Auto pot this year. Ten grand. So we raise ten. We raise ten grand. I'll get up on a mill stage. And we'll do it live on podcast and I can shave it off live on podcast. Sound. Me. But then you can shave it with clippers, but then I'll get somebody with a proper blade. To yeah, but I can shave. take it off with you clippers. You can take the majority of it off. At the beginning of the podcast, the first podcast after auto pot, you'll sit here. Yeah. I get the clippers. Yeah. And I whip it off. Sweet. If we raise 10 grand. And no, we'll, no. You said 10 grand, that was it. What yeah. What does the 10 grand go to? To two charities. What charities? Uh, one would be, to be, you know what I like? And the reason I'm going to pick this one is because he's in the industry and he's one of the only people that tends to try and raise money for this particular charity. It's James from Mills. He was, I don't think it's, it's no secret. He's, don't say it just in case. Yeah, he's a very, this charity is very close to his heart, very close to his heart, and it's for kids on the streets in Blackpool. Um, and he raised money. I was a little bit pissed last year because he was selling t-shirts and there wasn't the, 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 the uptake that I thought there would be. So he eventually got through all the t-shirts, but I don't think people got behind it as much as they should have done, yeah. especially when all the beer and, and food was paid for by like by the sponsors. Yeah. So I, I do, I do. If if it got to ten grand, I do five grand for James' charity for for homeless kids, and I do five grand for for children, children, yeah, children, children in hospital. I've got no families, just no support. Um, so that's what I that's what the the, the two that I'd give it to. So if you raise ten grand, you can get this beard off. That's the only way it's ever coming off. <laughs> and the, and it can all come from you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No, and you can piss off as well. <laughs> He's sick of looking at it. I can imagine. Uh, so there you go. Right, let's, let's have a little look at some comments. Right. Yeah. Anita said, Adam's got a... Uh, a crank handle for his van. <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty said, "Come on, lads, get Steer a T. He's making monkey faces. Won't be long before he's reenacting them old PG tips adverts." <laughs> uh, Anita said, "One drop every twenty liters. That's for the neutralizer. Really yeah. concentrated." They uh, Four twenty said, "Yeah, the sensor pushes cool. The air comfort's the same, just a bit cheaper." Tweedledee, hello, mate. Uh, Hydro Daily said, made by Cousins and Sears Creative Technologies. No wires, size of a matchbox. Only difference seems to be the length of time you store the data. 100 days versus a year. Uh, and he said, who does a silent air pump? Uh, Halia is the one yeah. that we stock, uh, silent air pumps. On on Just a dead quick one, that on air stones. If you get the air stone, that's blue. Then you just need a standard air pump for it. What a load of people have, have done. 
is by the ear stones with the black plastic around it. That needs a compressor. Exactly. And they're coming back going, oh, there's not <laughs> many bubbles coming up my ear stone because they needed a compressor. That was a mistake we made two, like three years ago. We did it. So if you ever get those ear stones and you think they're not working, it's because it needs, they're like proper fine bubbles and you need a compressor um, to make them work. Ashish Magus just bought a load of fabric pots. Um, all nutrient companies should have you guys refilling old bottles. It's, yeah, it's something to do. With, the plastic thing is something that we really, as an industry, we really need to address. Um, but it's going to be difficult. But we'll probably, would like. I'd love to do a plastics podcast one day and talk about how our industry can help. Uh, Indica said, I heard a lot of US growers saying LED grown product isn't as good as HPS and a lot of large scale HPS. There's talk of the tech not being all that with companies using the same parts. So LEDs, the good LEDs absolutely piss all over the quality of HPS. It's just, I don't think there should be much debate about that now. The debate is whether LEDs pulling 300 watts can compete with the yields of HPS doing 600 watts or 1,000 watts. If you get good companies and you do trial and error, then there's definitely sunlight are one of those that I'm including in the definitely will compete with HPS. So two sunlights are absolutely annihilating one 600. I know it's a bit of an output in money, but um, it pays you back. It does pay you back over time. He, as she said, I've used Mills Cocoa and got great results. You will. It's a good product. Indic Head Shop said, isn't light light information, wavelengths, even from different sources. Even from different sources. No, you're going to get into it because that will be a whole new podcast, but wavelengths and light, um, you could, we can talk afterwards on that if you want to have a chat. Coco Light, good medium. F- M420 said, I follow lots of growers stateside and they have all most upgraded to LED. Nobody's complaining about quality. They're saying the flowers are a little smaller, but more dense. Uh and large scale places in the US also getting kickbacks as well. So when they use LEDs, they're getting big tax kickbacks. Yeah. So it's there's a that's why America went over to LED far sooner than we did because when the probably wasn't quite as good as HPS, the money that they were getting kicked back in terms of taxes was worth it for them. UK and the rest of the world saw America going to LED and thought, oh, we all need to use LED. Then the demand for LED came. The ship manufacturers came and. Um, Cody's having to play with his new toy, isn't he? He wants me to try and buy one. What is it, Coates? A Ronan DJI handheld or something? Osmo, Osmo Frey. Phones to a fucking laugh and circles. And loop, loop or something. <laughs> so, what else have we got? Let's go for a watch poo. This is absolute dog shit. It shouldn't have even been wrote on this piece of paper, which is Ryan skin. Oh, yeah. I wrote that. Because what is a pod? What is an MPK Live podcast without talking about how poo rhino skin is? Eh? Advanced nutrients. Advanced nutrients. Rhino skin. Yeah. Pour the whole bottle over the plant, like I've done on a YouTube, an Instagram video. We came back to it three days later, and the plant was flying. Yeah. Whole bottle where you're supposed to use two to four mil per liter. Isn't it? What's the percentage rate in it? In so potassium. I silicate. took yeah, it's potassium silicate. I took the bottle to our lab. It's on the shelf as a silica, isn't it? Yeah. And what the dilution rate? Two mil per liter. Two to four mil per two liter. Two to four mil per liter. And we took it to the labs <laughs> and we did a rotary evaporation of the product, and we're left with like three grains. Uh, it could we could have rotated it further, but we only had like a couple of hours, and we could have probably got it even down more. But I think there's no point nine grams of salts, so. I left and... and well, the, what's that in the percent of a hundred, so the, hundred percent in the bottle? Yeah, it's like, it was less than one percent. One percent silica. Like yeah, so it was 99 99%. point something water and less than that. In, <sighs> but it wasn't even silica. It's because it's potassium silicate. Most of that was potassium. So then there's even less of silica. And it was potassium silicate, which means it's not that available to the plants. So Shout out to Grow Genius Monosilicic Acid who's kicking ass. Buddha's three fucking Solar Green Power. Solar Green Power. Aptus. Mills Vitalize. Mills Vitalize. Aptus. Good silicas. 
Gen, Gen 200. 200. Yeah. But still, kicking it for me is the uh, Grow Genius because it's cheaper than all the others and it's more concentrated. Yeah. Um, so that is proper poo. Absolute dog shit advanced nutrients. You should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. Embarrassing. If they're doing that with that with over all the other products. Like, oh, I don't even want to know. Absolute dog shit. Um, let's go for a what's new. Auto. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mentioned Where it at the it? beginning. Where is it, Stephen? You, you I got told. I, I, knew I have got one, but I'm... That I was bringing it on the show to show people. Oh. To well, be honest, I'm filming it. It just looks the same. It's as exactly the, old, the same. Exactly the same. Big exactly. aperture. Yeah, but just a bigger hole. Yeah. Uh, that's what's new. And for Autopot growers, the, the recommendation is that you don't have to upgrade straight away. When you do come to replace your valves, it, you'll want to get that, that bigger valve. Yeah, I'm going to try and freeze out uh, <laughs> the older one over, the a, couple one over a couple of years. Uh, the, um, the reason that they're not going to fade out straight away and just stop buying it in is because some people have just bought the valves and you you don't have to tell them, right, need new piping, new fittings. Yeah. So they're going to carry on doing that for a, for a couple of years. But if you go, excuse me, if you go into your shop in the next two months you'll or in two months, anyway, have to make sure and you, it's the I, same price, isn't it? Yeah, it Whatever the, the prices price. are on the fixtures and fittings and the pipes, the prices are going to stay the same. So make sure you, you, you are getting the new 5 mil hole autopop valve if you're replacing all your stuff. And yeah. don't forget, you need new piping and new fittings for it as well. Boss product. That's just because the holes got bigger doesn't mean that you don't have to. You, you still should be putting cleaning solutions through your system yeah. to keep it clean. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's a good name. Is it Dutch Pro got had a good name there for for their product because their product clean. is called Keep It Clean, yeah. and it's just what you say. Keep it clean. Yeah, keep it clean. And it works. And the Dutch Pro. Flora clean. Work. That's another one, isn't it? Flora clean with a K. With keep a K. it clean. There's a few good ones out there. Come on. What's How many new? left? Only a couple. What's new? Dead quick. Perpenita. Uh, you put it as what's new in the good section. Uh, what, yeah, well, it, it's definitely new. It should have been in the middle of the two of them. It's definitely, yeah. It's definitely it's new. Not poo. It's, it's new. See, I prefer Terpenita. Produce will naturally bring out the essential oils. Terpenita. To have a good environment, which will then generally bring out my colours. Yeah. But Perpenator will not produce purple colours in a plant that wouldn't naturally yeah, produce purple yeah, colours. Yeah, yeah. It'll enhance whatever the natural colours are. Yeah. A lot but of don't you think it's chemical enhancement? It's not a natural enhancement, is it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So why natural enhancements if you could give it an ice water flush, you mean? Ice water natural... flush. That's just that's not a real fucking way of getting the colours out. Way of getting the colours out. If you can't bring the colours, if your plant produces reds, purples, a bit of orange here and there, and just nice colours, if you can't physically draw them out that plant yourself without putting the plant under major stresses, then that strain's not for you, mate. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But instead... You're giving it ice flushes, which I could put an ice flush through any strain of plant and it and will bring go out and it'll bring out purple. Yeah. Like purple stems when you're day and night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold. It will bring out purple. Yeah. Because the plant's got that stressed and cold and shocked and it's like a fucking sign, do you know yeah. what I mean? So, so a natural way. So it's like a, it's not a cheat way, but it's a cheat. It is. You it's do it like a cheat. If you, because if you really want to bring out the colours. Putting could... ice water in your plants is a cheat to me. So the natural way you would do that... Because you haven't got it, so now you're man-making it. Yeah, the natural way to do Paper it... Paper eater <laughs> is your man-making it. <laughs> the natural way to do it... Is to have a good environment... And bring your temperatures out nice. gently. Why? Because, so the reason that so the reason that you do the ice water flush is like, you go from normal environment to get as much yield as possible, ice water flush, and bam, when... I'm, I'm doing you now, I'm doing all sound effects... As you get to the end, you make the plant go, oh shit, it's getting a bit cold. Produce Just, all these colours. You could naturally bring the temperatures down. So if you're sitting at 25, getting the yields, getting the plant to photosynthesize as quickly as possible, as much as possible, 
you go, right, I really need to enhance these colours, but I'm going to do it naturally and properly. I'm going to drop the temperature down to 22 on this day, yeah. 20 on that day, 18, and then finish with a 15, like a, a cold day. And but a that adapts to happen over the course, yeah. Three a week. Weeks. But it's, then, then there's, there's the balance of yield versus colour and quality. Yeah. You've got I to just get that don't balance. Here, Panita. Barry's not a fan. It works. It's not that I'm not a it fan. Works. It works. It does what it says on the bottle. It turns your paper. But is it better to do it but naturally? I just... I don't know. We need some convincing. Oh, yeah. Paper Panita, get in touch. Let us know why it's the best thing. I would have buy that when I could put ice water in my pants. I was that keen to do it. Good shout. I would have buy that when I probably... You, they'll probably say you that's won't affect got, your yield And that's much. probably got more trace elements of other little bits and bobs, yeah. which is probably good for the plant. Yeah, I understand that. That's great. But we are to be convinced. Oh, yeah. Is it going to go? Convinced, but it's new. It is So new. we're giving it a shout out. It's definitely and not I'm not poo. saying it's poo. I'm just saying, come and explain it to me. What else have we got left? Done that. Done that. Done that. Um, highlight horticulture's new LED crop light. That's the one you tested. It's called the... Uh, oh, Don't look at me. Mo. You, you got all excited. Is it a Hortimo? I have no idea. Ask Brian. <laughs> it's called a Hortimo. Find out. I hope you're right. If anyone's listening from my light, like <laughs> But it's a sick light. Retails for about £100. Boss piece of kit, though. Full spectrum. Nice piece of kit. Yeah. I've so, got it now in the tent on the counter. With me tomatoes and all that on it. Oh, yeah. Two stories. Looking good. Don't take the phone. <laughs> <in this minute. laughs> Tell them. Tell them what. It's good advice. Uh, me and Steve are in work on Saturday. The prop's full. It's looking lovely. But what I'm noticing is I'm getting a little bit of mould on a few leaves because they're ready to come out the prop. So what I've done is I've took the prop lid off now. The vents have been open for quite a few days now. They all look lovely. I've took the prop lid off. When I've took the fucking prop lid off, I've had a heat mat in there and the probe of the heat mat has was, bounced, in the propagator. was in the propagator so the temperatures were perfect as you should imagine from me <laughs> doing it. And when I took the prop lid off, the probe has slid out the because t- of, of where it's been sitting in the top of the prop. The probe slid out the top of the prop as I pulled it out and come out the tent and I haven't noticed it. So what it's happened is, is the probe has been on the floor in the shop and we, I've given them a little cold. spray with Clonex, little mist, and I thought, yeah, they'll be sand, them, a little bit of a water. And I thought, yeah, they'll be sand. I was more worried thinking, hey, hope, like, when I come in on Monday, they haven't, like, a little bit of cold chuck because the shop gets a bit cold because no one's in it. But I thought, no, it'll be sand. And what's happened is, is the probe's gone on the floor. I can't remember the temperature I've had it set to, but the fucking probe has been freezing, telling me, my fucking, you need to warm up here. And when I've come in Monday morning, the fucking propagator was steaming. Every plant was dried out and they were all fucking dead near. <laughs> and I was wounded. Doctor death too. Fucking the good. sequel. And I'm doing my best now, Jalal said to me, we need to pot some more up, don't you, but we need to get some more seeds. <laughs> and I went, no. Got organic. They'll survive. I got some organic out before and then I went, no, watch them, getting them back. These are going to come back. So we might do a little video, we might do a little pictures of uh, Barry's genie over the summer. I was gutted because me and Jalal potted them up. Me and Jalal done all the jiffies, got all the yeah. seeds in, sorted. We've got chilli, strawberries. So I've got all kinds going on in there for the summer for outside. And I've fucking ruined it. <laughs> and I'm wounded. Top tip. Don't be careful where you put your thermometer probe. It's one of them heat mats with the... Oh, I forget the name of it now. It comes from Nutriculture, I think. Yeah. Just a heat, a heat mat thermostat. Yeah, heat mat thermostat. Yeah. But the fucking probe has slid out the bastard 60 by 60 yeah. secret garden. Like a little the floor, competition with all the plants. But it was we? as we were leaving the shop and we were like locking up and I just thought, I don't want to leave them in there. And that because the leaf might start going a bit. You no, know, it goes a yeah, bit yeah, moldy and that. And I was thinking, I thought, ah, fuck it, I'll whip it off. And I fucking ruined it. We could have a little competition, couldn't we? Putting all the plants in the propagators and call it top of the props. You like that one, really, don't you? <laughs> yes. Oh, is it not, Benny? Top of the props. There Top we go. The a little props. singing competition for plants. <laughs> um, any more new or poo shit? There's definitely, there's one new in there that you haven't mentioned at the bottom. Yeah. 
Let's what comments. Let's go through some comments. Has she said how many sunlight M30 should I use for starting seeds? Depends how many seeds you've got. One M30 should cover. But the M30s, the little ones. Yeah, them little things. I'd probably little... say they cover about 60 by 60 or something. Yeah. 50, 40, I don't know. Just, uh, it depends how intense you want the lights to be as well. But four would do would do nicely for a 1.2 sort of space, I reckon. But it's it's, it's how high you want them, how intense you want the lights. In the to be honest, you, you don't even need them because if you're going to get the new sunlight LED, it's dimmable anyway. So you just dim it down to 25% and you're done. Yeah. Uh, Indic Head Shop has said most large scale successful brands are HPS in the US. That's true, but I would say that is true because those large scale brands have been around for a long time and they've probably invested heavily in HPS lighting where there's 250, 500 HPS lights. HPS lighting is still fucking great. Mate. Yeah, boss. Yeah. But they've they've already been there for maybe the last decade building up their brand's got 250, 400 HPS. They'll probably will come a point where they start to transition, but replacing all those good it's work and HPS yeah, to go away, like they big cost. Yeah. So you're right, but it's probably not. What are you saying? The new startup mainly now just go straight to the LED. <laughs> And it was like the first people who started doing them. Yeah, the monster yeah, yeah, yeah. out there were all on the HBS. You jungle boys, everyone yeah. knows them. I'm not saying that they're the best because they've just got the massive name. There's probably as much better growers out there and grow uh, facilities. But in the US, the jungle boys got a massive name. They're all HBS. I think they use Lux Lighting. Um, but that doesn't mean that LEDs are bad. It just means they've heavily invested into those lights. Or Lux Lighting have gone to them and said, listen, use our lights. Well, you can have them all for free. Do you know what I mean? Just tell everyone that you're using it because you're yeah, the top kids. Exactly. That's yeah. what you've got to take into consideration as well. Yeah, not just backhanders. Uh, for the money, there are big questions unanswered, like lifespan of fixtures, replacing parts. If they are sealed fixtures, they need fully replaced, and this creates more electrical waste, a huge cost. So, sunlight is an example. Lifespan is. Five to 10 years. Yep. Which I think 80,000 hours before they really start to degrade. Replacing parts, easily replaced. They are sealed fixtures. They're IP rated to some points. Um, some LEDs are being IP66 or IP65. The one that's fully waterproof. But I think that could be more of a marketing gimmick than... It's a marketing gimmick. Why would you want an LED that's fucking 100% water. waterproof? Who the fucking hell is going to put it in water? Because if it's IP... I don't know which one it is, but if it's dust, sand, day proof and humid and the, the humidity can't get into it then it just means that no water will get into your fixture even if water's flicked onto it it's absolutely fine but the I, one ip rate means the pressure of physically dunking in water the pressure can't get through the the fixtures but you're never going to do that with an led no. anita said moonshine has been 100 for our tomatoes they're glistening and keeps the bubble clean hmm. anyway um Last new product. Last. Now, I've still got one shit one and one good one. Uh, last new one is Maxi's CMH, the cheap kit. So there's CMH, the cheap kit. So there's two things and here. And you've read here, CMH magnetic bulbs. Yes. What's that all about? Magnetic. They haven't just brought a bulb out for a magnetic light, have they? No. They have brought out a bulb that is affordable by people who don't have much money to spend. So... 315 uh, ceramic metal halide kits tend to start around a £250 mark, the good ones. Some people haven't got that money to spend on the lights. So what they've done is they've brought out a bulb, which you can run. You have to run off a magnetic ballast that because it's digital. because of the frequencies. Digital right. will do high frequency magnetics. will do low frequency. Ceramic metal halide has to run off a low frequency. You can replace your IP as a soldier. You make a 600 watt magnetic ballast and yeah. you can plug air. Exactly. Won't give you the same yield as a 600 HPS. <laughs> 600 watt HPS, but the quality will be phenomenal. So it's just it's a cheaper option yeah, if people can't nice. afford that. New product. If you're still running shitty magnetic ballast as well, <laughs> yeah, it, isn't it? Because you haven't put them in, in the bin. Yeah. Um, one more shit one. Cheap pH pens. Oh, yeah. Uh, cheap pH pens. Blue Lab. I've got the market cornered. Yeah. If somebody came to me and said, I can produce pH pens and EC junctions, I'd say, I'd never say no to somebody, but you can have a very 
very tough time of it. Yeah. Because Blue Lab had just smashed it. They got the price point, the worldwide, global, phenomenal. Yeah. Cheap pH pens. There's the argument of some people can't afford £70 for a pH pen. I would say just if you can pH. only afford £20 pH pen, buy no, Canon A and B no. and I'd just don't pH. Afford, yeah, just save up all year for the £70. Pounds. Yeah. Because it will, if yeah. over the year you will buy three new pH pens, yeah. it's been proven in our shop. We've tried time and time again to get new, cheaper pH pens in. We'll guarantee most things in the shop, and we do sell them cheap pH pens. We have to for the people who can't afford them. Oh, we will tell them first when it gets passed over the counter. It's that's a no money back, no guarantee, no warranty. The minute you leave that shop, lad. No, the, the minute it's, you pass the money yeah, over. the minute I've got that money in my hand, that is your problem. It back. It's like a bar of chocolate. If you take that outside, it's going to melt in the sun, lad. Yeah. You. So they can go in the bin. Cheap pH pens, yeah, not a fan. Sure. Cheap PC pens, not a fan of them. Um, add don't pH or, you know what's even better than a cheap pH pen? A five pound universal liquid. Yeah, the lip, what's it called? Litmus paper? Uh, is it litmus paper? It's, yeah, it's... It's the paper anyway, paper. isn't it, with the colour charts and that yeah, yeah, old yeah. school? That's yeah. probably the That's best. better than a cheap cheap, yeah. cheap pH pen. More accurate. I'm for your words. I, I am, yeah. Like, Why would you say Google that? Google coronavirus, see what it does to you. <laughs> the way you talk. I've got nothing wrong with me. Chewing your beard. No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um... Has she said, I tried taping as wasn't a fan because I felt I was faking it instead of growing properly like my yes, environment. Granddad said, it's called a Horty Mall. Well done on your memory, Horty buddy. Mall. Told you, the Horty Mall LED prop light from High Life Horticulture. PL Grow Systems said, now if only there was a way to have remotely monitored the PL Grow Systems. Shout out. Indica said, I'm all for LED, but it doesn't work price-wise just yet without real-world testing. Maybe uh, there in a few years. Indica, I agree. It is a bit dear. Yeah, it is. But go to this just... YouTube channel. Shh, no, you, no, no, no. I know what. No, I know my, what you're no. going to say. My grow, grow, my grow, grow, grow. on YouTube. YouTube. Do you know why my grow is? Nah, I will get a, him on the podcast. He looks like one a day. boss lit light next bit, doesn't he? We watched a couple. Well, of he's got his own the other day. The only one that I'm waiting for him to do sunlight. The sunlight. He's, he's done, done the strip lights. He's done the sunlight strip lights, but he hasn't. I'd like to see him do the proper like QCW. Yeah, definitely. Because he has got his own micro LED, and he's recently just done the Lumatech uh, Phantom Pro, as he's just called a Zodiac. Or Zodiac, that's it. Yeah, Zeus, God. it's called Zeus. Zeus. Ah, yeah, you got it wrong, Zodiac. Yeah, I was closer than fucking yours. Zodiac and Zeus. And anyway, he said that's better than his own. He did. He went. Normally, when I get a new LED and it does well, I like to shout and whatever about it. But I'm not going to on this one because it's better than my LED. I'm not happy. Mm. And that's how he starts off the... But he hasn't the, done the new sunlight, so we'd like to see him if he'd done them, but he'd be worth getting on the podcast. As someone messaged and me and said... Break because I wouldn't understand the fucking thing that you should talk about. You can come and sit in the corner. What do you call it? Talk about micro moles. <laughs> VPMDs. <laughs> They're not really small moles, you know. That's like a unit of light. VPFDs. VPFDs. <laughs> Lumens. <laughs> All that shit. Yeah. You can come and sit in the car and just rock in your chair. Nah, I'll just... I'll go and rub rally cars. I'll have dip off. your toes in oil. Come on. What next? Uh, what else have we got? What L- next, even? LED lighting companies do their lights on a finance plan for massive installs like the commercial ones in the USA. As you put it, it's an expensive exercise to replace 250 plus lights. There's the 420, yeah, 420 said IP65 for greenhouses. Not if you're getting massive rebates. Uh, <coughs> yeah, Anita said he was got got a test in that light. What? Anita said he was got a test in that. Oh, why she watched it? Yeah. yeah. Scouse said, I've had sunlight 15 months. They are also modular, and you can replace the LED blocks later down the line with new tech. They are yeah. very good. So, have you done much new watch poo? Is that everything? It's everything, lad. What a waste. Wouldn't it be good if that hit the camera and then it just all went off? No. It would be like nice and cinematic. But that is it. I'm going to say it again for everyone watching on YouTube. While you're on YouTube, when we finish this podcast, go to Autopot UK 
check out the last 15 videos shows you how to use every single one of their systems the reason i'm telling you to go and watch them is one they're a partner two the the videos are just phenomenal i don't know who filmed them but wow wow (laughs) coronavirus what's happening coronavirus okay so the facts the media wants you to watch their programs and read their papers as much as possible they will want to grab your attention if you listen to the media you'll be terrified the facts about coronavirus are one fact about viruses in general are the easier it is to transmit the less harmful it is really flu everyone gets the fucking flu but you get over it in three or four days coronavirus doesn't transmit as easily as the standard flu a little bit more harmful than the flu if you're old or you've got respiratory problems can have problems you can you can be in a bit of trouble at the moment it's not affecting young people babies um i say at the moment it mm. could always come out but at the moment no one really young's getting it it's just the older mm. generations um if young healthy people get it they do feel unwell uh they are tending to get over it there was a 70 year old couple on the on the cruise liner in japan mm. they got it they got over it Josh said something to me this morning, it, 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 like a half hit home. He said, every TV programme, every bit of news, every bit of newspaper, every bit of radio is, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Do you know, we all, and you've yeah, heard yeah, it, yeah, that yeah. everyone sold out of the alcohol gel, everyone selling out of soap, everyone. Do you know, if we kept that up, we wouldn't have any viruses. We wouldn't have any colds, flus. We wouldn't have any of that. Know what I mean? As soon as this coronavirus ends, everyone will go everyone back to go back to not washing, not their, washing hands. their hands. Hey. If everyone just washed their hands constantly after handling money, after before sh- they eat the food, before they eat the food, and just shit like that, it would be a better place. Because be honest, how often do, before all this started, how often did I wash my hands? Oh, you wash them. Surprised you've got any left? I'm surprised you're not stumps. Because, because he just washes his hands constantly. You're handling money. You're interacting with people on a yeah. daily basis. I'm not saying you don't know where they've been, but you, you're interacting with a lot of people. And I wash my hands every it's not time. That money is one of the biggest carriers of yeah. shit. You don't even want to know what's on what's on banknotes. But I wash my hands all the time. And it was just surprising to see Boris Johnson on the telly going, "You need to wash your hands." Did you hear what he said? Sing Absolute happy birthday twice. Fucking tool. <laughs> Turned around and said, instead of saying, "Yeah, you need to wash your hands for a minimum of twenty seconds." He didn't. He turned around and said, you need to wash your hands and sing happy birthday twice. And it's like, oh, well, you're going to get people who are going to go, oh, I don't know the happy birthday song. I'm fucked. I know. <laughs> but the big question but why is, say that? Where's that do you include from? the hip hip hoorays or not? I don't know. That's important. Whose name do you shout out? Uh, but why not just turn around like nobody's normal birthday? and he looked like an absolute tosser when he said it. <laughs> Wash your hands and sing you. happy birthday twice happy in your head and that's long enough. I didn't he just say, wash your hands for a minimum of 20 seconds because everyone on the universe can count to 20. Even my little lad, he's three. Yeah. He can count to 20. Instead, sing the happy birthday song twice. It's like a little bit stupid, doesn't it? I was like, it? Is you what? think we are? Fucking who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> fucking helmet. Sing happy birthday twice and you'll get clean hands. Uh, Not off. Um, it's surprising to me that we're having to be told to wash our hands. I know. Like, In fact, I wash my hands not as frequent as you, and I wash them. I do. I am a bit over the you. top with it. You're over the top with it. I wash them regular, just probably. Like, when was the last time I was off sick though? I don't know. Like I very rarely get sick. I wash my hands frequently, yeah. especially before eating money and shit like that but I've found myself doing it more lately because it's mm. fucking on me but you know if we just kept it up yeah. we wouldn't no one would be fucking sick because there'd be no James you pass it on another top tip sip water every 15 minutes I told a good you one. that you did it was yeah. a good top tip because this Dry coronavirus mouth. sits in your mouth apparently it's the media again sounds good it to sits me, in your mouth and if you it it sits in your mouth and what it'll do is it'll make its way down your airwaves into your lungs mm-hmm. and that's where it'll get bad then. Yeah, yeah. If you sip your drink, it takes the virus into your stomach. Stomach acid and kills And stomach it. acid kills it. So, so, two things. Drink every 15 minutes. Even Good. if it's just a little... You stay um, hydrated. Yeah, stay Keep hyd- that up. So you're going to stay hydrated. Do it with water. So if you're washing your hands every five minutes, 
You're drinking water every 15 minutes. You will knock years <laughs> off yourself. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's mental. Um, but yeah, just good personal hygiene. Maybe you know? the same drink water because they put it in the water. Oh, don't start. Why would you <laughs> say that? Brian has just gone. That's right, I said it. I don't believe that. Yeah. But I yeah. like that. Yeah, the fucking world's flat as well. I'm <laughs> fucking telling you. They're all lizards. He's a lizard. <laughs> What's his name? David Ice. He's a lizard. Right. Let's just go through the last comments before we check out. Uh, as she said, Sunlight's my next purchase. God, everyone's already checked out my grow. Good, good, good. Uh, thank you for the podcast. Loved it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we had... I think this Thursday's working out good. Eight, 17, 18 to 20 it, people. To do, you? No, you're on it on Wednesdays and we had 10 people wow, watching. Amazing. Thursdays is good because tomorrow's Friday and everyone likes a Friday. <laughs> I used to like Shane a lot, but after I seen what he did in the HLG review, I've since lost trust. Oh, I'm going to have to have a little look at that one. Uh, sterilization is the name of the game for Anita because her immune system's uh, low. And then they're just all, you don't like Boris because he's from down south. Uh, yeah, it's very true. That's not. I know loads of people from down south. So, yeah, it's good. That people just talking to themselves. Talk amongst yourselves is brilliant. So, that has been podcast 207 with myself, Steve. Myself, Barry. We knuckle. Actually, this is how me and Barry <laughs> say hello now. This is how we say hello. Right, lads. Right, what's Don't happening? Fucking touch me, mate. You're carrying the Oh, I've got a foot now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone I'm watching. Spread, I'll... I've spread the shit on me, shit. <laughs> Everyone watching live They're on YouTube. They're doing that in China, though, you know. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> I'll tell them all what they're doing in China, Barry. You go and rub your car. That's what they're all doing in China. I'm going to uh, go and watch Barry rub his car, and I'll see you all next week for podcast 208. See you all later. Bye-bye.